type 1 diabetes, whether you have it or not, this is an interesting bit of information in regards to gluten in type 1 diabetes. While researchers published in the Journal of Diabetes this May 2014, was it discovered that when animals, or I should say mice particularly, were on a gluten-free diet, they did not develop type 1 diabetes, as opposed to the control group of mice, which were on a typical gluten diet, whatever a typical gluten diet is for a mouse, did develop type 1 diabetes after 13 weeks. And this is what happened, this is what they discovered that being gluten-free did. They found out when you were gluten-free, it affected in a positive way the intestinal bacteria. And to read verbatim, the experiment showed that the diet changed the intestinal bacteria in both the mother and the pups, obviously being baby mice. Even through times of lactation, after they gave birth, they were basically breastfeeding. They said, suggest that the protective effect of a gluten-free diet can be ascribed to the certain intestinal bacteria. The advantage of the gluten-free diet is that it's safe and easy to do, i.e., except trying to find gluten-free food. They also said they were not able to start large-scale trials yet in humans to see if this actually applies to humans because of obviously funding issues. But at least in the animal case, they discovered that going gluten-free did prevent the development of type 1 diabetes. The researchers also stated too that they discovered gluten-free is extremely beneficial to humans which are currently diabetic. And this was done to the University of Copenhagen where right now they have a large problem with diabetes, especially type 1 diabetes, so they're trying to find ways to alleviate this issue because it's just too expensive to treat. So if a diabetes is a concern with developing the diabetes, published in the Journal of Diabetes this May 2014, consider going the option of gluten-free. Thank you.